is it really possible to date ramayana and mahabharat using astronomical data it is look you can't invent fictitious uh, astronomical data if somebody invents fictitious astronomical data you can debunk that it's the simplest thing in the world to debunk that because the stars the planets the constellations etc they follow newtonian mechanics celestial or celestial orbital dynamics and all the celestial dynamics orbital dynam- dynamics and so on newtonian physics it's it's super easy to debunk any fictitious invented astronomical data what we know is that the astronomical data that's encoded in the ramayana and mahabharat is not fictitious it's actual observational evidence so it should be not very difficult to determine exactly when in the past those positions of various constellations and other objects happened the question is the the problem that we are facing is that various researchers were tackling this this problem their interpretations of the original sanskrit texts are different so what they do is they will take the original sanskrit text or maybe a translation to from sanskrit to hindi sanskrit to english and then interpret that based on that and they all have different interpretations of what is written in sanskrit and that's why they have different dates that they've thrown up for the ramayana for the mahabharat and that's uh, the issue so it's definitely possible to date the ramayana and the mahabharat if you can accurately and correctly interpret what is written in the original sanskrit text otherwise it's going to be a never ending fight which we are seeing every day on social media between these between these people these researchers they seem to have this penchant of fighting each other in very in a very public way 